Hello again, welcome back for another daily Barn Advisor Repentance. It is July 17th, 2024. Less than a half an hour before Prime Day ends. Oh no. Better go out there and get some stuff. Yeah. I did get some things, not a lot of things, because the sales have been kind of shit this year. Let's see here. Turn the volume down first. Uh, 2020, uh, this warm thing, uh, wow, it's giving me a tears up. The beans. The toots. Ah, uh, but it gives me a tears up, but then it's like, not a great tears up either. So yeah, going back with, uh, yeah, Amazon sales stuff. Yeah, it was worse this year, I think. Than it was last year. And, like, so, okay, I don't know if I talked about last video or not. I don't think I did, because I was streaming yesterday for Elden Ring. And Prime Day started yesterday, so... I, uh, earlier in the month, I bought a HDMI to... DVI port from Cable Matters or whatever, which they make some great cables, of course. Um, high quality stuff. And so I buy something of that uh, attachment doggle thing from them earlier in the month. And then I also bought myself another HDMI cable. And so I got those items, right? And <laughs> well... Those items, let's see if I can just, do I have my phone with me? Where did I put it? I didn't even pause it. What the hell's wrong with me? And I screen capped it here. So the, let's see, did I screen cap? Okay, I did. All right, so... The Cable Matters thing is a DisplayPort thing, so I sp spent $22.89 for it, right? Before taxes. And then it was showing for Amazon Prime sale special yesterday. And they said the typical price is $28.99, and they put it 20% for $23.19. So it was more than what I was paying for earlier in the month for the sale, quote-unquote sale. And then... I got a monoprice. Oh, no, it's monoprice, isn't it? No, okay. So the other one's monoprice cable. Different company. And I paid $16.99 for it before tax. And so the listed price for Amazon yesterday, they said the list price was $20.98, and then they decreased it by 19% to $16.99, which is the same price as what I paid for before. And I think it did go down a little bit lower today, I think. Or maybe I'm wrong with that. I don't know. You know what? Let's just check it out. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? Let's see if it uh, did change. Because the sale is going to end pretty soon. And, you know, I don't want to be wrong. Ah, uh, come on now. Okay, let's see. Amazon orders. All right, see what this model price is now. No, it's the same price. Okay, that one's the same price. The HDMI cable. The adapter is the same price. Okay, never mind. It did not go down. I must have been mistaken to something else. Yeah, so it costs like, I don't know, 20, 30 cents or whatever, plus more for the HDMI adapter to DVI port uh, the past couple of days than it did for like <laughs> when I bought it earlier in the month. Oh, that means inflation's like out of control that quickly. I don't know about that for in the case of this and stretch on a mere week or two. 
difference. Ah, that's a little sus. Yeah. But aside from that, like, yeah, the other sales were kind of crappy. I was like looking at other stuff they had available and I'm like, oh, look at all this stuff. A lot of shit to sift through too. I, I didn't really do so much shit sifting, but I uh, I did a little bit of it just a curiosity's sake. I mean, they had some good stuff at a decent price. You just have to dig through it, but it was worse this year. I was hoping to get like a discount on the air purifier filter. Apparently that was not the case. So I just picked it up anyways. <coughs> I picked it up anyways. Because it's almost at 0%. And I need it. <coughs> so, yeah. I, um... Uh, oh, so this is like a horrible fucking room. I'm choking on flies. Like, this... This fly dude. The Duke. Is what they call him. The Dukes. The Dukes of Flyzards. <coughs> so... I did pick up some other things, though, however. So they had uh, loops, they call them. And uh, I, I knew about them, kind of, sort of, out there. Until I, like, put it on my wish list, like, a month or so ago. And uh, I seen they were on sale, like an actual sale, sale thing going on. So it's like, okay, I'm going to go pick these up. And so I did. I got the pair that came in today, and then I bought something for... I bought another pair for somebody. They're paying me back and all that fun stuff, and they don't have the Amazon stuff as a deal. Either that or a credit card. I think it's actually a credit card they don't have. It's like, all right, I'll charge it on my credit, and you'll pay me whenever, you know. So they're called... Oh, that's really nice. Thank you so much. What the hell's worth these runs today? The last couple of days or whatever I've been playing. Anyways, as I was saying, I uh, I tried them on, and you know what? They actually worked very well. I'm very impressed with them, and what they are is called loops. And I got the experience uh, pluses. They had another version that came out, Experience Plus, uh, Experience 2 Plus, and Experience 2 Regulars. The Plus is supposed to give it like an additional buffer, I guess, for sound waves. It worked really nicely. Like, I'm actually surprised. Because you see, I before I order these things, I thought these were going to be like some kind of Bluetooth, whatever capabilities for like cutting out sound or something because that's how my earbuds are but no it's not which is great i tried them on they actually fit better than my bluetooth ones i don't know if it's because i got the wrong piece in there for like fitting in my earlobe plus your heart giving me two tears up Saved. Saved. <laughs> so yeah, I got that. And then I also picked up a copy of The Matrix on 4K, which I heard is like really good. And I don't really own The Matrix on like movies or anything. Any of the movies. I, I didn't pick up the I didn't pick up the uh the pack or anything. I just picked up the one movie. I thought about other movies, but I'm like, nah, I think I'm going to be good for now. Titanic sold out, which I I thought about getting, and then it's just like, ah, gone. Whatever. Well, there's probably going to be another Amazon Prime Day sale in, in October. Because I was actually looking into that, and I was like, you know, wasn't there a freaking sale before? I was thinking, and then, yeah. There was. Pretty recent. 
Pay out, you little bastard. Suicide king. That's hilarious. One more. One more. Okay. I probably shouldn't be doing that, but you know. Suicide king. What a world! <laughs> yeah. So I, uh... Picked up some stuff. Of course, the filter was the only thing that wasn't on sale. Damn it! Okay, I'm going to pick this up. Because this thing's going to do a little bit better for me, in my onion opinions. Money, luck upgrades, health. Hopefully that trinket pretty soon. Yep, there we go. Yeah. I want to get, like, other things, too, but, like, I kind of held off. It's, there wasn't, it's like some of them wasn't, like, deals or anything going on. Like, good deals, good enough deals. They had some Lenovo laptops that looked pretty interesting, but I don't know. I do need a laptop. I mean, I have one in the closet that still technically works, but it's slow as piss because it's, it's just, yeah. I, I think what it needs is a new hard drive, but even that, it's like the RAM's kind of shit on it. So, yeah, I don't know. You know, when you when you know, you know, you know. Oh, hello, fucker. Try and take me out. Fucking trying to assassinate, assassinate, and not assassinate, assassinate me with that bomb, motherfucker. Do you know the fuck you're dealing with? The greatest Isaacs player the world has ever seen. Not really, but you know, one can dream, right? Ah, you know, uh, yeah, uh, I guess we'll take this. It helps with the tears rate. It's, sh it's kind of shitty, but, you know, it's something, you know. Since I got technically a homing, that helps. Money for days. Oh, we got mystery box. What ancient secrets are in this mystery box? Did you see those Disney leaks, by the way? They're starting to come to the surface, by the way. Like, they had like a tweet I seen. It's like, oh yeah, hackers got one terabyte worth of data and they had like an insider that <laughs> they added. Because I guess he uh, had cold feet about something, about getting further data. And they decided to just dox him and post his information online. And so now Disney's probably going to give him an... Oh, probably like a substantial amount of like ass chewing and a month's other things. So yeah, they had some leaks. Uh, I've seen one of those leaks, I guess posted so spoilers out there if you don't want to be spoiled or anything i don't know if this is still in production or not or if these are just like old concepts or whatever the deal is well they're going to be trying to re come on now get up here get up come on thank you they're going to try to reboot darkwing duck I seen like some of the concept art and stuff on there and I'm like, oh, I'm not surprised. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, it's another medium I'll skip.
oh, surely you can watch The Acolyte. They just published their season finale. Nah, I need to finish Stranger Things. <laughs> Which I guess apparently the, season, the final season's next year. So I haven't even finished season three yet. I need to get around to do that. You know? Because it's the thing to do. I'll take the synth oil. If it means to fix my tears, thank you. Speed's bit is a bitch, but it's something. Better to be loved than not loved at all. That's a funny way to show in love if they just cripple the shit out of your speed. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's a hard love, right? Oh, it gave me damage. It gave me tears rate increase. That's what I needed. And then they come out and they just break out the freaking horse whip. And it's like, hey, by the way, here's some extra shit to deal with. It's not bad. It's not bad at all here. Tears up. Phenomenal. Radical, I might say. So how about that Elden Ring, by the way? Yeah, I'm... Listen, I'm going to try again, I think, tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. And if I don't get it, I might just take it, take myself a little bit of a break from streaming that. And get back into it next month. Now, I know I had issues with Radagon. I think that's his name, right? Like, a couple of years ago. Kept trying it over and over again and all this other stuff. Me, it's like, me now, it's like, I have less patience. <laughs> now, I know. I'm not dodging the best that I should. I'm not the greatest at Souls games, you know? This is my full first Souls game that I've completed. You know, there, there were other Soul games that I've tried. I quickly just, like bowed out because I I didn't want to adapt. <laughs> and I seen like videos of players. Well I seen a video of a player that was going nuts and berserk and blaming people and a bunch of other things and I'm like like no, I mean I like I don't do that. Like, the game is designed to be hard, right? Like, it's not like, oh, it's just developer's fault that it's this way, you know? With this game mechanics being so hard, you know, I, I tried to adapt to them. The only time I criticize about a game if it's, like, got some shit mechanics and it's broken, like, super shit mechanics to where it's, like, they rush something, you know? Case in point, Halo Infinite. Oh, I bet those salt wounds are still fresh, aren't they? Oh, yeah. A tinge. A tinge of salt there, I guess. Like, there's some... There's, like, some positives and there's negatives with the game. And I, I just kind of lost interest, too, with playing it. I, I know they fixed a bunch of stuff. But it's just not enough for me, you know. Now, I haven't really touched Master Chief Collection in a while either. Like, there's nothing wrong with it now. I recall. There, there could be other things going on in the surface, maybe. I don't know. Since I've last played a bunch. But I mean, I got it back in 2014. Pussy! I got it back in 2014, so I got it when it was launched. And it was buggy as shit. For years. And so because it was buggy as shit, I, I didn't play it so much. And then I uh, eventually, and then I just kind of bowed out and played Destiny. <laughs> and then probably Call of Duty was then there, maybe. Uh, yeah, probably. Things of that nature.
I don't think this is going to work, right? I didn't think so. I'm trying to be cheeky about it. <laughs> now, why don't I go down the side path here? I don't know. Just kind of add variation. Just add a little bit of juice. Differences of things. Yeah, so it's not like I'm taking the game personally with... Um, Elden Ring DLC. It's just, I'm just getting a little bit of a, I'm just keep getting myself a little bit of a break. You know? I did quite a bit in the game. I know it's not as much as what the base game is that I did. Believe me, I was doing a bunch of exploration and streaming like four or six hours a day. Now it's like, you know, hour and a half to... Yeah, about four hours. It just depends, you know. Time, you know. Time's different these days with things. I got a lift tonight, too. So it's like, you know, another thing I got to do. That's why I'm not streaming because it's going to take more time to stream. I don't know what any of this is. Uh, okay. That's pretty good, I guess here well the good news is i've played the game enough to where i'm not i'm not going to be spoiled except for like probably after the killing the final boss pussy so by the time this video comes out i hopefully have beaten it <laughs> if not well that's a damn shame I'm hoping I do, you know? Be like, I did it. After all that. I was like getting the last of the... Uh, fragments or ashes or whatever. To up my defense. Hoping that maybe that little bit of a difference would make a difference, you know? And I don't think it... Oh, I, I don't know if it did or not. I don't think it did. That's why you do New Game Plus... Go back in and get more skidoo tree fragments. That's another thing. I don't think I mixed it out. I'm like 17. I am not going to the guy to get skidoo tree fragments. That's just fucking hell. That's one thing to get in the 25 ashes to like level up and max my defense. That's fine. I needed that. But the skidoo tree fragment stuff like... Fuck that noise. Because it's 20 levels and it's a lot more shit to find. It's a little bit difficult to go and backtrack and looking for the ones I didn't get. I still got like two major bosses to beat though. Well, one major boss and then one... Whatever side boss thing for a quest. Plus, I have to do another quest, which I don't know if that involves another boss or not. Also, a golden freaking trinket. Kick ass. You don't see those often. Anyways, I kind of sidetracked a little bit from Amazon. I don't know how I got in the conversation about video games again. Um, so, yeah, going back with those loops... So, yeah, I got those loops. I was testing those out. And, uh, I mean, I haven't tried it in a loud bar or anything yet. Which I think that would be a good indicator. Do I have Esau in the jar? <laughs> Do I have that? Let's check out my list. Uh, items left. Let's call it kidney stone. No. Man, I'm having a hard time. Like, a couple of these could be like angel items. I don't know what the fuck that is over there. So, oops. Keeper's eye. Let's try something, huh?
car battery. Uh, let's hold off for now. Okay, let's just not get fucked over. I know I got like a horrible fucking build I rolled through. Horrible. Come on now, motherfucker. It's not super horrible. God almighty, just get me free. Oh shit, I got like... Beat the juice out of them, huh? All right, well, then we're going to have to just keep going here a little bit. Learn to in be intolerable. Fucking free. Never again with that shit. I thought it'd be cute to be like, let's just take it. All right, let's see what this is. Eh, whatever. Car battery might just fuck this whole thing up, honestly. I'm pretty sure it would. So we'll just get rid of flip because it just won't be... Flipping good. Get it? Get it? Get it? I hope you got it. Get it? But yeah, I was testing them out, and it was, uh... So far, it's working nicely. You know, I had an ambulance pass by me earlier today, and... Seen it did the trick with blocking much of the... Harsh noises. What the hell is the extra effect? Did I get hit the second time? With that... Whatever trinket? Maybe not. I don't know. But anyways, yeah. I gotta test it out in concerts, theaters, and all that other stuff. I'm assuming it's gonna work fine in that kind of setting. And I was looking more into, like, the the Experience 2s, but I'm like, yeah, like, okay, they're supposed to be slightly improved. But is it going to be something where it's like, oh, it's a difference between an S23 and S24 Ultra, you know, Samsung Galaxy? Is it going to be one of those kind of things where it's like, oh, yeah, it's just a tiny bit of improvement, but it, you won't notice a difference. But it's got AI capabilities. So that's the S23 right now, because they got the, uh, they rolled out the update earlier in the summer. So, yeah. And spoilers, I didn't care for them too much, those updates, especially the one where it's like, do the cir circle search, where you're like drawing a circle around something in an image. Like, that's cool and all that, to try to do like a product search or something online with Google, or reverse image search. Except for it's like, oh, you got to sign in a Google account to use this stupid thing. It's like, why the fuck would I need to do that? I could do a reverse image search without doing that on Google itself, so why? And then they have like AI transcription stuff with... <coughs> with the Samson whatever recorder. I got that shitty item. <laughs> uh -huh. Here we go. And that one is just like, technically that's been out for like ages of transcribing audio recorder thing. That's not AI. And then it's like, what else was there? Oh, you could generate a uh, wallpaper. Oh, that's cool and all that, except for, uh, well, um, the generative wallpapers has extreme limitations with what you can generate with it. 
And then also you can't like save it in a specific folder to access such images unless you just download a third party app. I feel like it's kind of like the old Android days where it's like QR codes were coming out, but there wasn't an app whatsoever. It came with like Android stuff, like on the Android at least, to uh, scan them. So you had to download a third party app to use them. And it wasn't until like I got a new phone, my last phone, that it's like, oh yeah, by the way, you can use your camera mode to hover on a QR code and it'll ask you if you want to open the link or not. I'm just like, holy shit, this is what's needed. This is the future. There's like some other AI stuff I think there was too, but it wasn't so important. It's just like, you know, it's gimmicky, you know, it's marketing, you know? Oh, wow, AI. Well, that's something different. It's new. It's it's something, man. And so it's like, it's kind of that, you know? I cringe. I do cringe quite a bit with uh, their marketing stuff. Guys, it's AI. Cringe. <laughs> now, when the internet was first coming out with dial-up and stuff, that was quite the opposite. It was actually something meaningful that just changes all the whole face of everything, right? These AI features on this phone, I'm not impressed with. Perhaps I'm just so spoiled by choice that nothing even matters anymore. Nothing even matters. I tried so hard. What's this? I don't think this works this way, right? Uh, maybe increase the tears rate. Maybe not. Whatever. I tried so hard to win it all. I think that's the lyrics, right? In the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> now, other uses for AI stuff, on the other hand, I've been playing with music generation to some degree. It's, I mean, it has its limitations and then like upscaling photos and videos. Hell yeah. And then some of the AI generated stuff for like voices. Yeah. Now that is some actual real stuff there. I'm like, oh, this gimmicky stuff on the phones. I did see something recently about Apple's going to be launching kind of their own AI thing on their thing on their own phone starting next year. They're already doing that with the iPads, but now it's the phones coming up. Like the AI we got now, there's severe limitations with what you can do with it based on like the performance on phones and stuff like that. Like, well, I think part of it is performance, right? Performance limitations. Like my phone, it, it's got a really good RAM and all that stuff for, you know, you expect it's going to be having really great performance since it's a fucking... $1,200 phone, 1400 whatever the hell it is. Fortunately, I got like a trade-in bonus that cut it down substantially. But I think it cut it down to a third of the price, yeah. Which I never did a trade-in trade before. But anyways, getting to the point here. I think the, the deal with AI right now with phones on... Like, say, the phone I got and then the next generation of Galaxy. It's a couple of things, right? First, it's like, I think it's the limitations of the hardware. Because it uses a tremendous amount of, you know, performance power to do something very sophisticated, right? Like, when I tried doing generative AI a couple of years ago on my computer, with using, you know, image generation stuff, it was slow as freaking piss. Now, keep in mind, the hardware is, like, much older, or older than the decade. But 
it still had pretty decent RAM, an okay graphics card, right? The graphics card is a deal. And so I think there's limitations with the phone stuff. So that therefore they can only do so much with promoting and doing little things for AI for the S23 and S24s. Um, and then the second thing I think too is like, there's also an issue with trying to figure out what you do with the thing exactly, right? Like how, how is this going to be useful? How, how do you implement something that's going to be useful with generative AI onto a device? That's the challenge. Like chat GPT, right? I had a membership for that for about a month or two, playing around with it, right? And it's like, okay, playing around with it, but I can't find anything productive to do with it is the problem. That's a huge problem because it's like, yeah, they have all these different plugins. There's thousands of plugins is the problem. You know, people or organizations make their own plugins that interact with the Jab GPT stuff. And it's like, you know, you got so many different options, but then it's like, well, how do I utilize these different options? Like, what is important to me as a person? You know what I mean? Like, as a certain individual who has these different kind of ideas of what I want to do. But then how do I narrow that down? It's another golden freaking trinket. Holy shit. Rare, man. It's rare. So now it's like, you know, you, you just have to like try to figure out this whole deal with this. Like, what, like, you know, you have to like narrow down and simplify this kind of stuff so it doesn't become like this Wild West thing going on. Like, you know, taking point with like dial up internet, right? So when that came out, it's very similar to this generative AI stuff. I know because I was playing with the dial up stuff, playing the shit out of it. And as a kid, and me, my mom, and others, we couldn't figure out what the hell we can do with it, aside from like emailing, checking out random websites, what exists. That's it. Like there wasn't any instant messenger until we got like DSL or something. That's like much later. So it's like, it's the wild west with this stuff, right? And as time was going on, it was becoming more and more complex, but in a good way where it's like, okay, now you can do this on the internet. You know, you can play flash games on the internet, which now they switched the, to something else. Now you can watch videos on the internet. Now you can do this on the internet. Now you can do that. They're making the browsers much more like software these days. And so social media crops up, you know? Like, and so it, it's becoming now more and more of a reliance on u utilizing those resources as opposed to what it was over 20 years ago, where it was like, you know, you couldn't do much with it. Like, I wasn't writing any school papers until I believe, like, like actually research papers to the internet, like, till I got to high school. So it took quite a bit of time between the time when I was playing around with it in grade school to the high school where I couldn't use the internet so much for papers or whatever. And then also utilizing, you know, turning it in, in high school was the start of things too. And so now the internet is such a big thing these days. Like, there's so much to go on with it. Now, having said that, this generative AI, I think we're in a very similar 
kind of a kind of uh, environment like we were in the dial-up age. Like we're trying to figure out what we can do with it, right? Only this time we have the internet to help pull resources together with different researchers and a different people. Plus we have much better hardware than what we did 20, 30 years ago. <clears throat> Experiment with on. To where it's evolving a little bit faster. Now, having said that, that's the issue right now with the phones is, you know, one, the limitations of the hardware, two, trying to figure out, like, what's going to be useful on a phone when it comes to, like, generative AI stuff. The wallpaper stuff, like, it makes sense to kind of put that as a gimmicky thing on there with, with its limitations because with rear generative AI like image generation stuff like with Bing and with I think Google does something and then ChatGPT and others Dreamscape or whatever it's called too um holy shit pay out motherfucker you're triggering the piss out of me tonight oh by the way prime sale ended loser Anyways, sorry, threw that off, threw that out there. Um, yeah, anyways. What the hell's that going with this? So, double active, huh? Uh, what was I getting out with this shit? Um... I'm blanked. So that that's kind of dilemma, right? Like it's all oh, thank you. Bless your heart. Is trying to figure out how you can balance those devices to utilize it, use the generative AI stuff, and then also finding features that's gonna work. That's gonna be extremely useful on those devices. And then also the big third one, which I think NVIDIA kind of solved the last, you know, few months that the stocks have been going up. And I, I'm i super jealous that it went up from $50 to like over 1000 or 2000 a share. You know, kind of shit like that. It's just, ah, but how do I suspect of it? Unless I was like some politician that just knew about this stuff was going to happen in the first place. Hungry soul. There's no way for me to know. You know what? Let's go to the void. I haven't been seeing what's his name in a while. But yeah, NVIDIA solve something somewhat where you can generate stuff through the uh GPU as opposed to through, say, a, like a server. Technically, servers is a whole computer. Computer, you know, it's like a, uh, you know, it's a system with parts to it, of course, and a graphic processor and storage and all that stuff. But then it's like expensive and everything else. But the GPUs is like you can use local computers instead of like costing bandwidth and having ISP and stuff, which that's a huge deal. So we're getting like closer with that kind of stuff. Now, having said that, um, that kind of goes in part with the whole hardware limitation stuff. Sure, it's there with, I could generate a wallpaper or something with a Samsung app, certain Samsung app, but It's going to have limitations. Of course, now they're talking about using tokens, a token subscription system, which is like another whole can of worms and shit. 
until we had to start pirating our token systems, which I I would not surprise me the slightest that that, that will happen. You know, it's kind of like the old days with the free trial stuff with like software and you could just like patch it and now and <laughs> be like, oh, what, what ex expiration date? You know, like uh, Photoshop's doing something, for example, with the generative AI stuff where it's like, oh, yeah, we're going to offer a subscription plan. It's like a limitations of how much you can do it a month based on different tiers. It's another level of fuckery, you know? Like, you're already getting gouged by... But to say Amazon, but that's not right. Not yet, anyways. But, um, well, I guess it depending on how you look at it, I guess. You probably will or you probably won't. Um, uh, like those cables that try to get you with that. I might actually look at the price pretty soon here with the cables now. Since the sales ended. To see how sneaky they are. What? They went down 30%? Went down more than the Prime sale and what I got them for before? What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Um, sorry, I'm just like backtracking a little bit here. With my thoughts. Yeah, generative AI. That's that's like that's probably gonna be just as big, if not bigger, than the internet. It's well, it's probably not gonna be as big as the internet. The internet's like fucking huge when it came out. Like that had a lot more creativity to it. This is more it's like adding more to the internet plus like the next step. There you are, you fucker. Did it not generate a meat boy? Now, am I missing something? There's already issues with like plagiarism, plagiarism stuff going on. I was reading about and seeing all these different like AI advertisements for like, hey, do you want someone that proofreads your stuff or gives you like a paper and spits it out? There, I, I even tried one with summarizing something. Did a pretty good job, and you can that's through G, Chat GPT stuff. You can essentially, like, ask it to be like, hey, can you summarize this thing with a certain, like, little program they got within it? Little extension. And uh, did an interesting job with it. And that's the damnedest thing. It's like, okay, how do you curb that? How do you curb that so that people would be like, oh, I don't know how to summarize. Let's put ChatGPT in there. Oh, I don't need fucking Wikipedia anymore to copy from. Because that was a thing back then where it's like, oh, yeah, I don't rely on Wikipedia because the information is edited by people and it's inaccurate. Man, how true is it that it's like that still? It's not a surprise. Now it's more, you know, political size than anything. I don't know, man. The artificial intelligence stuff, something. I mean, I see some cool stuff that was used with it, right? Like, you know, Randy Travis, the country singer. I think he has throat cancer or some kind of a throat issue where he can't sing so much or talk so much. Oh, no, maybe it was a stroke, one of the two. And uh, so he created a song. 
just an AI, and then he had somebody that would sing the song in a certain way like him, and then use those kind of vocals to match with Randy Travis's original voice. So that's kind of cool. Then I think there was something with the Beatles too. So yeah, it's it's an interesting kind of phenomenon. Will improve society, man. Like this shit's so early to tell right now. I think it's gonna be like the internet, right? Yeah, I keep saying, oh, it's like the internet. It's like the internet. I'm just saying that for sure. But I think it's going to be like the internet where it's like... We're not going to know until like years afterwards. And then also... Like it's probably going to improve in ways we don't we can't even comprehend right now. And also make things just incredibly toxic and worse in some other ways. Like, you're kind of seeing some of that coming up right now with the AI stuff. Another guppy item, huh? If you at least give me an R key, please. Or Matt's kidney stone that I've yet to find amongst other items. I've yet to teleport with this uh, cursed eye, too. What the hell? I was expecting it was going to happen pretty soon with uh, going in the boss fight for Delirium. It's like, come on, take me, oh, sweet death. Do you feel blessed? Man, I just... Two percent payoff for an item. Conjoined? No. I either I have it, had it already or I don't have it. I don't know. Wait a minute. Let's see. No, I do not. Never mind. No, I do not have it. I fibbed. Amnesia. Double amnesia. Triple amnesia. Quadruple amnesia. Range down, amnesia. Let me see something here. Curiosity say, oh no, the sale ended. The sale ended 26 minutes ago. Oh no, oh no. Let's see. I just gotta check back on there. Oh no, the sale's not, the sale still goes on for another hour and a half. Never mind. That's right. It's like a two in the morning thing. Whatever. Oh, not two in the morning, but you know, it's much lighter than what it should be. The sale, the sale's going on still. You better pick up something you're not gonna use. Imagine they come out with a ridiculous item in the last minute before like the sale ends where it's like, oh yeah, 4K televisions for like 10 bucks. You know how much people shit their pants when they see that? Just by happenstance, see that like on there. I'd be buying like a hundred of those or something and be like, oh guys, guys, I got, I got a bunch of TVs to give. I guess there was a thing Every Prime Day sale with the Amazon Fire TVs, they like reduce it to a ridiculous rate. They all get bought up early or something. I don't really need a 4K television anymore. I, I have one here. I, I don't need to get another one. I mean, that's what I was going to say. And that is it for this run. I got to go and lift and stuff. And I'm getting kind of tired. And I got to eat too. So it's it's a whole combination of things, you know. 
anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.